Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. Today we have the Creality Ender 3 Max. Uh, I did an unboxing not too long ago. If you want to see that video, check in my video. Uh, what I want to show basically is there are not tons of out there on uh, YouTube land uh, how to level your bed. Um, there is on other models of Creality, but on the Max, there's not a lot of it. And this is one thing you really do need to make sure it is level to make sure that your print sticks to your bed. One of the first thing you need to do is go in your menu and basically warm up your uh, warm up your bed. We'll go in temperature, bed, flip it to 50. And Go back to our main screen. It's at 27 right now. It is a little bit warmer in this room where my printer is. Uh, I do have the uh, another Ender 3 Max beside it that is printing right now. So right now we're at 30. Basically what you will need is a piece of paper. Plain Jane. While it's heating up here, what I'm going to do is set go home. Right now, what it's going to do is move up and down, go to the side, and bring it in the corner and come out a bit. Now, basically, it is in our corner. We're going to go and disable our stepper motors. And the reason you want to disable the stepper motor is you want to be able to move your axis, especially the bed and the head. Now, we're not going to go up. We're just going to go to bed four corners and the head side to side. Now, we're almost at the temperature. I should have warmed it up before starting this video, but I did not. Um, while this is heating up, if you're having issues leveling your bed, I would say take your time and do it step by step. It can be frustrating. And I know there's a lot of people out there that buy 3D printers and try to print and are not successful. One of the major things about 3D printing is, again, level bed. Now, there is some items out there you can install on these printers, like a BL Touch. I do have one for this machine here. Um, near future, I will install. And there's other machines out there that does it by automatically too. The best to start out is a level bed. It's like when you want to install a poster or a, a picture frame on your wall. Of course, when you want to look at it, you want to see it straight, not cockeyed. It's the same thing for this bed. If your bed is not level, one side will stick and the other side won't stick because you'll have a gap between your nozzle and your bed. Now, what I'm going to do is... Now, I can't really show you on camera, but on this bed, you see where the leveling screws are in the corners. I try to bring it to the corner of the leveling, leveling screws. Bring it right here. And I take my piece of paper. I want to be able to run it underneath and catch. Right now, I have zero friction. What I'm going to do is loosen the screw. See, right now, I have a little bit of catching. That's what I want. I'm going to go to the next corner here. See, I have zero friction. Loosen it up a bit. I'm starting to have a little bit of friction here. To the point when I'm moving my paper, it's bowing the paper, bending if you want to. Now what we're going to do, pull it back, go to the other corner. Again, nothing. Unscrew it, and there you go. Starting to catch. Now we're going to move the head back to this corner. Touching just a bit. Okay, 
Now we're going to move our bed back. I always check it twice. Because sometimes moving one axis brings the other one closer. See right now I can't even put my paper in. I'm going to uh, tighten it up. And after a while of doing this, you'll get the hang of it. Worst case scenario, what's going to end up? You're going to ruin a print. Before learning this, I ruined multiple prints. And now my bed is level. I'm just going to do back auto home again. And now we're ready to send a print to this printer and be able to enjoy our print after. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it. It does help a lot. Thank you for watching.